Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel in today's video. We're going to be working here uh, in the shop. So we hadn't been out here much. Uh, we got a bunch of ice. And as you can see, the driveway is nice and rutted up. But what we're doing today, we're going to start working on putting our new sandblaster together. Uh, we bought this sandblaster to go ahead and sandblast the lift uh, for the 6O up here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get it put together today. And hopefully here in the coming weeks or so, we can go ahead and get our lift sandblasted and ready to powder coat. Alrighty guys, so we have this sandblaster over here. Uh, we need to get some of this stuff moved and uh, working on getting some stuff cleaned out. That way we can lay everything out on this table here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get this sandblaster all set up. And um, we was looking on YouTube earlier, some people doing modifications to them. We might do some of that stuff. Uh, we might not, but I'll let y'all know as we go along. Alrighty, guys. So we actually just ended out the video, but I figured I would put this in just a little bit uh, prior. So as y'all know, uh, we're currently around the 1st of March or so, I think, when this video is going to go up. My birthday is April the 6th, 4-6. Um, it's actually where I got the channel name from. But anyway, my goal that I would like to hit before April 6th is 2,000 subscribers. So if y'all would, please give this video a share to your friends, family. And if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, 2,000 has been a big goal of mine for a good bit now. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in here. Now let's get back to the video. All right guys, so it's a few days later. Um, but this is where we got to. So this piece, I know is upside down. I would just put it in here. That way it would hold everything together and it wouldn't fall apart. So I'm gonna pull this out, get it flipped, put the window down here. Um, we need to figure out where that goes um, and that little trim ring and all that um, because we still need to put the uh, hopper together um, and from what I kind of concluded was you put this together then you put the hopper together and then you attach the two so that's what we're going to be doing um, but I'm going to go ahead and get all these screws out, get this piece off, and get it flipped around here. All right, guys, so we got this piece swapped. Um, got the door on, the latch, and it latches pretty tight. I uh, got everything in here. Um, one thing we did do, we took this long range magnet and stuck through this piece with that nut on the end of it. I don't think y'all can see that, but that'll be uh, this one here. So, yeah, there you go. You can see it in there. Um, so, that's what we did for that one. And was able to take a screw gun on the outside here and tighten that. Now, what we're about to do, we're going to go ahead and put the light and the glass in. Before we put the bottom in, that way, well, we can get to everything. So... Anyway, uh, that great piece over there, it slides in through the door. Uh, this piece, I believe, will go, let me sit down here. Um, I believe this piece will go right on the bottom here, um, like so. And then all the bolts will go through um, to this way, or we might have to flip it over, but something like that. And then the grate, or the the uh, funnel piece, whatever you call that, will go between this uh, and the legs. So that should work just fine. Uh, but like I said, we wanted to get the light and the glass and the switch uh, in here before this goes on. That way we don't have to try to put all those screws in uh, and that stuff through the uh the door here so anyway we're making making pretty good progress uh so we're gonna get started on that i gotta go get the light i think it's in my toolbox over there and uh we'll start getting that and the switch mounted all right so i got the 
the light in. Uh, there's not any bolts in the clamps. I um, want to plug it in uh, afterwards, and then we'll do all that. We'll tighten that up and whatever. But got the wire run through the side with the wire gland. Um, I have our switch over here. Uh, so we'll have to pop this switch out. Uh, that way we can connect this one in here. Um, but it shouldn't be too difficult. And then it'll mount right here on the side. So now that that's in, uh, we will uh, we'll either put the glass on next or I might go ahead and start on the, um, the little funnel looking piece. So anyway, like I said, just wanted to give you all a quick little update here. But we're moving right on along. Alrighty guys, so we got the cabinet all put together. Um, we just got this hopper put together. It's just sitting on here. But we got the hopper all put together. We got the trap door on. So the way I understand it, this uh, indexes like so and doesn't move around a whole lot. Uh, this trim ring we're going to put on the bottom just to kind of give the hopper a bit of support. And uh, we get our bolts sorted out and then set the hopper directly on top. And uh, we should be able to run the bolts up uh, from the bottom with this piece with it. Okay, so I wanted to mention one thing we did. I got a uh, straight pick here. And yeah, you can see it's there. a little bit, but what we're doing is I stuck it through this piece up into here and that kind of helped us line up and then it'll stay there, kind of lined up all three pieces um, and then we can go ahead and start the bolts uh, in each one of these and then my grandpa is going to get in here and uh, start the nuts on all these as I feed them through alrighty guys so here we have it now uh, we couldn't put this piece on we only have one bolt and three nuts so we got to go get some more nuts and bolts uh, to be able to bolt that piece on uh, but this piece will go um here kind of in the middle so anyway there it is um so we got the glass on the outside and it's got a piece of acrylic on the inside um and these these are um, some little protective strips that they give you um these here so got these on here um and i guess they give you extras but there there it is i know a lot of people will leave uh these grates out the bigger grates uh they'll cut this one to move everything lower that way you get a little more capacity but we really don't need for now uh for what we bought this for we don't really need all that much uh capacity so this will work just fine uh actually one of the lift boxes over there we're gonna be doing the lift kit for the 6.0 um so we need to sandblast it uh, make sure everything will fit in the oven we're going to get it powder coated um candy purple so anyway here it is seems nice and sturdy uh, even without that piece and i know that'll help um, make it a little a little bit sturdier um but anyway there it is i will say the uh, fender stand here made everything much, much easier. The only bad thing is when you're done, you have to pick the whole thing up and set it uh, off of this. But I didn't have any problems with it. Um, but there it is. We also put the plugs in it. Uh, this is for if you want to put a shot vac. And then there's another uh, larger one there i believe that's for the uh airline and stuff to go into it but anyway guys i guess that's going to be a wrap for today uh, like i said we got to go to conway get some nuts and bolts uh, for this so we'll probably finish it up in one of the upcoming videos um and maybe we'll take some of the lift stuff and try to get it sandblasted or we'll just grab a piece of scrap metal around here and try to get it blasted because we don't have any sand either so anyway guys i guess that's gonna be it for today um we're gonna run to conway hopefully it won't be 
too bad busy so guys i will catch y'all in the next one if you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful please drop a like and comment down below hit that subscribe button thanks for watching guys and i hope everybody has a great day